Welcome to our worship this morning from Wheat Hill Benefice, four villages in Somerset, Barton St David, Kent Mandeville with King Weston and Lidford on Foss. My name is Jane Durham and I'm the incumbent here and it's great to welcome you to our worship. Our theme today, continuing in our studies in Romans chapter 8, is forgiveness and the Holy Spirit. And our prayers today are led by Deborah Whittingham. As a benefice, we've decided that we're going to continue worshipping online for the month of August. And we're going to revisit our plans to reopen and worship in churches as well as online in due course. This order of service for today is that of morning prayer. And when we come to the intercessions, our intercessions are led by Deborah Whittingham. Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you and also with you. This is the day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to our worship for this morning, which comes from inside King Western Church, and it's great to be able to welcome you here to worship with us. We're using um, an order of service for morning prayer, and you can find that along with um, this morning's order of service on our parish website, wheathill.org. And so we continue in prayer. Blessed are you, Lord our God, creator and redeemer of all. To you be glory and praise forever. From the waters of chaos you drew forth the world, and in your great love fashioned us in your image. Now through the deep waters of death you have brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. May Christ, your light, ever dawn in our hearts, as we offer you our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us, so let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. And as we continue in prayer, we come to confess our sins to God. And the confession is on the order for this week. So let us return to the Lord our God as we say to him. Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy on us. Bring us back to yourself as those who were once dead, but now have life through Christ our Lord. Amen. May God, our Father, forgive us our sins and bring us to the fellowship at, of his table with his saints forever. Amen. And our first hymn this morning picks up on that new life that we are given, a new life that we'll be considering later on in our service. As we hear or join in with, I am a new creation, no more in condemnation. Here, in the grace of God, I stand. 